Many years I worked at the Library of Congress, and for the last 11 years that I was there, I was the associate librarian with responsibility for all the national library functions in the United States, including the National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. And then I left, and now I'm the Dean of Libraries at Johns Hopkins, but I also uh, represent uh, all librarians at WIPA. Well, we're very excited about a number of things. One is just the fact that we have this possibility of a novel treaty that really focuses on the needs of users, which has not been the case before. And libraries have been involved in the creation of the treaty from the very beginning. And since so many of the people who will be beneficiaries get their services through libraries, this is really, really important to us because this is about our mission, which is making information accessible to all sorts of people, whether they're blind or not. Uh, now it's been uh, over 20 years ago, I guess, because when I became the associate librarian in 1992 uh, is when I became responsible for the National Library Service for the Blind and became very much aware of the work that they were doing, which is really extraordinary work they do in the United States. But even as well-funded as they are and as focused as they are, probably a model for such a national service, they're still only able to make accessible copies of very, very few items. So the, the need for this treaty to expand the number of people who are able to make accessible items is really critical. I hope we uh, will be able to leave Marrakesh in a few days with a wonderful treaty that's been signed and everyone will be very enthusiastic about getting it implemented and starting to provide the services it enables.